Resonance. Unite threes. Fire red SEs. Poor man's grateful threes. Toro threes. Who cares what you call them? Just make sure you. YouTube, what's really good? It's your guy Hitch, and it's a good day uh, because we're cutting the bag on Jordan 3s. That is a very good thing because when picks for this shoe started leaking late last year, my first thought was Jordan Brand is wildin'. That shoe sucks. And a few weeks ago, I had to walk that back because on feet pictures started coming out and I started to like them. Like around that time, I don't even think they had a name. I was calling them Toro 3s and I just wanted to see more and more pictures because I really started to like the shoe. So here we are and I'm impressed. There are a few features on this shoe that immediately stands out to me and makes me hope and think could Nike and Jordan brand possibly be watching my YouTube videos or more importantly, are they listening to the consumer? Because I've complained about quality issues in the past and that's the first thing that stands out to me is the quality, the way the leather looks and feels along with the design cuts of the shoe, I think it's pretty good. And I won't tell you to go watch the Black Cement 3 video I did in the past because the video quality is a little eh, but if you do wanna see it, you can check out the link. But that shoe along with the True Blue 3s of 2016 are perfect examples of pretty bad quality and I don't think you're gonna be able to say that about these. Second, they got multiple laces and not too long ago I said the lion with the crown, King James on the other side and that's it, just paper inside along with some additional laces. This is something I think that I think Nike should do more of, and that is giving us more laces with shoes, especially when they have a bunch of colors. So I'm glad to see that they're doing this with these 16s. Y'all can check out that video too, but we are cutting the bag on Jordan 3s, and the black is a go. I just got to see what the red and the white is hitting for. Third, it's been a minute since Jordan Brand actually made a dope non-OG colorway retro 3, and these check the box. Even though it's just a black cement 3 gone red, I rock with them, especially since Jordan Brand has been doing that lately where they will flip an OG colorway, like a reverse taxi or a reverse he got game. Those didn't pan out too well. They got it right with these. They made simple changes by just removing the black leather, giving us red, and then removing the red eyelets and giving us black ones. Aside from executing on the colorway, I personally believe that they executed on the quality. The design cuts make this shoe look more like the OG than the Black Cement 3s of 2018. And before y'all trash me, hear me out. I mentioned the leather before, and I ain't no leather expert, but when you look at the tumbled leather on the upper, the leather on the side panels, the leather on the tongue, and even the leather around the heel collar it looks and feels good and it may not be Jordan 1 leather but it damn sure ain't the leather that they were using on the black cement 3s next is your elephant print and for starters you'll notice that there's not excessive glue all over the place which most people had suffered from on their black cement 3s or the true blues but look at the cut the cut is lower very similar to your OG's and when you compare it to the true blues which had the same cut as the black cement 3s it's like night and day and you can notice that in your toe area as well as back by your heel Lastly is the tongue. The tongue on the Red Cement 3s are very similar to your OGs where it's a bit more thin and the lining stays behind it. But when you look at the True Blues or your Black Cement 3s, the tongues were super thick and the lining would come up over the top. The rest of your OG features are gonna include the Nike Air logo on the insole and your Nike Air logo on the plastic backstab of the heel.
Big kudos to Jordan Brand on the Red Cement 3s or whatever the hell you decide to call them. I'm a fan. I love the colorway. I love the additional laces. And on a scale of 1 to 5, I'm giving these a 4.5. I'm trying not to be a prisoner of the moment, but it's kind of hard. These rank pretty high to me as one of the better non-OG colorway Jordans to come out. It's made me think of a few other dope ones. Toro 4s, Raging Bull 5s. But hit the comments. Let me know what y'all think about these and how they stack up and compare to some of the other non-OG colorways to come out. And if you want a pair, they're coming out February 15th for $200. There's also going to be a special Chicago release where on the back it will say Nike Shy. I'm assuming it's going to be super limited. But if you enjoyed the video, subscribe to my channel. Make sure you hit the notification bell so you don't miss when I drop new videos. Rest in peace, Kobe. Hitches out. Painful was a terror, yeah, yeah. As sharp as a blade, yeah, yeah. And if you don't watch out, yeah, yeah. You might need, you might need, yeah, you might need. Yeah. Graduated Pledge Omega. Jersey in the Raptors, fresh Prince of Painville, Biddy's from Alaska. Kelly bought me breakfast, I ain't even have to ask her. Becky from Economics did my taxes. I caught a body, caught a body, I ain't even have to love her. Bounty on the head, I'm a quicker picker upper. With my lethal weapon, always use a Danny Glover. Don't turn women, you don't love the baby mothers. ATL Greek with my hop team, did that, Google me. Unity Day, we killed this day, straight eulogy. Double XL bought me new clientele for this dope that I told all bars. No coonery On the way to away games Willie playing beats My dog, that's my great dame BJ playing cool Demina help me stay sane Brito selling snacks Gummy biz and plantains Wreck ball